Hi everybody! Okay, I think I have thought about probably a thousand and five ways as to how I was gonna tell my story on my bellow body. It's been six months since I had it done. That was August 13, 2018. A lot has happened since then. Okay, so where do I begin? So I never want to assume that anyone who's watching this video, let's say, is, is follows me on Instagram or knows my story or whatnot. So I'm going to treat everybody who's watching this as a total stranger, like we're meeting for the first time. So, hi, my name is Bianca Valerio and I'm a model. And as you know, as a model, I'm actually a runway model at that, you are quite skinny. When I started modeling, I was always considered not the waif thin like, but I was quite curvy. So because of that, and I also had a butt when I started modeling. And I was always told that I was too fat or I was just, I would not get jobs. So when that gets ingrained in you, you start to believe like, oh, then maybe I really am fat. This is a butt is a bad thing or having curves is a bad thing. Guys. Relax, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just recounting the story of what I used to think, how I used to think, how I used to be back then. So I always used to think I wasn't good enough unless I was skinny. And then eventually, you know, when you become so dedicated to your craft and then I lost all that weight. I lost a lot of weight and I finally got into the perfect measurements of what a model should be, especially a runway model. And I was happy because I thought to myself, these are the, these are the requirements for the job and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And so at that time, you know, I was working out, I was not gonna lie, barely eating, but you know, I made it work. So for many years, that is how I always was. My measurements, to be exact, were 32, my chest. And the smallest it ever got was like a 23, 23 and a half. And my butt, the smallest it ever got was like 35, okay? For those of you who have no idea what that means, it's just basically I had reached a zero. A zero to a two, I was dangling between that. And to me, that was normal because to me, that was what work required and even if even after so many years I wasn't even modeling as much as I was anymore because I was concentrating more on hosting I just thought I like being skinny why not right and then guess what happened my brother passed away for those of you who have heard, heard the story and for those of you who haven't heard the story in January 17 2017 I lost my one and only brother so suddenly there was no closure I'm actually pretty amazed that I can talk about it now and I'm not crying anymore. Because of it, I emotionally ate. I ate away at all my feelings and I had ballooned from a small to a large. It's a lot. <laughs> but you know what? I guess when you are so depressed, you don't really know this. And to me, it was just, I, I was still getting booked for jobs. I was still fitting into the gowns, maybe just a little bit tighter, but I thought it was the least of my concerns. My weight was the least of my concerns. And then one day, it's kind of like you just kind of wake up and then you realize, wow, I'm fucking fat. <laughs> And I know for a lot of people, fat is a very subjective thing. It's quite relative. But again, for the work that I do, com compared to going up to three sizes, guys, no matter how what size you are, going up three sizes is pretty alarming. I guess God just sort of like my brother woke me up and be like, hey, yo, <laughs> your work is on the line here. Your health especially is on the line here. You have got to do something about it. Bello had offered liposuction. And in the beginning, I said no. No, God, please, no, no! So what I did is I started to work out. So I just finished my first session. I, I wish I, I took videos, but I don't want to be that person and just document everything. But I'm so happy and I feel very accomplished. My flexibility is obviously very shit, but I'm I'm very grateful. So grateful. This is the path to happiness and loving myself again and just being happy with myself. So
the last time I weighed myself. I don't remember. But it was many years ago, and I was 108 pounds. That was about 2013. And now, I have gained 30 pounds. And it's 28 days. Jesus Christ. I'm in Croatia, and never in my life have I ever worked out in a gym in a hotel like ever and now i have time gym closes at nine it's about 8 10. i can get about like 45 minutes my trainer is going to be so proud <laughs> shout out to june bueno <laughs> no i can't believe it and because our hotel is like so swanky super nice super modern it's got all the facilities it's got like a spa it's got like whatever and it's just uh Let's take the stairs. Let's start while we're at it, right? Start our cardio. <laughs> oh my god. They kicked us out. Gym closes at night. I got to work out for about 50 minutes. It feels great. I'm not even done yet. I still need to do my abs, which is the one fucking thing I really need to work on. So I'm just going to do it in the room. I've actually been working out in the room every day of the trip. I just do my exercise in the room with like a liter of water as my weights. I use like the different counters for like my push-ups and I use the chair for like to do just other exercises. It was very humbling, you know, working out. It was like, holy shit. Everyone's like, you know, at leisure. Everyone's like in their sexy outfits. And here I am wearing, guys, I wear the same thing to the gym all the time. I just like launder it like every day. I wear the same t-shirt. I wear the same loose leggings. And I just wear like, the nice, the only nice thing about it are my sneakers. That was pretty much it. But you know, I was pretty proud of myself buying all the things that I needed. I even started swimming. And I did all the things that was needed to get into the groove of things again and it felt great until finally you kind of realize hmm this is gonna take a while isn't it and then August came around and I did a lipo and this is what happened hey guys so I'm here at the Bella Medical Clinic in Medical Plaza and if you can see there's a crew here and they're actually gonna be shooting what's gonna be happening today and partially i'm a little bit scared because i'm thinking why the hell would you film yourself well i want to be honest with you guys this whole journey of losing weight has been a very humbling experience and for some people they might be thinking but you're not even that fat but that's not the thing though the thing is if you are overweight whether it be a little or a lot it still dampens your your self-confidence so i just wanted to show you guys that Everyday people like me, like you, we all have our insecurities and rather than try and make everybody feel bad about it, we're here to support each other. So hopefully sharing this journey with you guys will, will show you that it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to want to take care of yourself, even if it comes to vanity. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good, there's nothing wrong with wanting to enhance what you have for as long as you're not hurting anyone, you're not causing any real damage to yourself, then everyone's happy. So Dr. Bello said that I could actually put the fat from all this to this. I really thought about it. Do I want bigger boobs? Kylie Jenner or Bianca Valerio? You know what? Let's stay with Bianca Valerio. In 28 years of the Bell Medical Group being around, this is the first time that we're going to do this. I've been doing liposuction for 28 years. She is an author, a model, a vlogger, ano pa lang a sex kitten, um, a mother, I forgot, goddess one. of the universe. Goddess of the universe. Like, you know, this is we belong in Bello. This is how we get our mojo. And here today, she's going to do a liposuction of her abdomen. Bianca Valeria. Okay, so they've um, versed me on everything I need to know post pre-surgery, basically what I'm going to expect, medication, everything I'm allergic to. So basically they were really going through it one by one just so that I, I am prepared, especially for after. 
got some cute little socks. <laughs> okay, technically, you should not have any makeup on for any surgery because you should even have nail polish on. But I removed this, but I still have my false lashes on because key light is life. <laughs> and so basically, yeah, I. I feel prepared. I'm okay. So I guess we're ready to do this. Let's do this. I didn't think it would be this tedious. I thought we just come here, you get dressed, and we're gonna go. And we're gonna film a little bit and that's it. No, but actually, I actually feel good that everyone is so... I had to change into my underwear. I had to do all these things. There were so many things to prepare to make sure that I know what to expect and that I feel safe and that I'm in good hands. With my lovely gown. <laughs> Bye, Pam. So, if you ever come here, look for Pam. Look at her, I said. <laughs> I was actually given the uh, the option to do this completely asleep or just half. Is that what you call it? Like twilight? It's a, it's like come and go. Um, but I decided I'm actually gonna stay be awake for this and have it still anesthesia. And let's see how far I last. And then if I really can't take the pain anymore, and then I'll go to sleep. Okay, so we're doing a skin test right now for the antibiotics. Ow. Ow. So guys, as much as paninin digam pa talaga to stay awake in this thing, I've realized it's not the pain or the injecting of the um, anesthesia that gives me anxiety. It's the I can hear everything. I can hear them talking. I can hear like the 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 instruments. I think that will make me probably make cause like an interruption and I want them to do the best job that they can. So guys, <laughs> I don't need to disappoint Aww. you. But yeah, they're, they've injected the local anesthesia already on the certain parts of my abdomen. So far, everything is good. But you know, doctors are slowly coming in, it's getting busier, and so the nervousness is like rising. So I think for the for everyone's best, I think it's, it's good that I'm in a calm, sleep state so that everybody can concentrate right right okay so before i fall asleep i'll see you guys later please wish me luck and i know i'm gonna be okay i can't wait till after the surgery bye <laughs>
And then fast forward to my vacation to Bali. I thought to myself, this is it. I am going to wear a bikini. I had not worn a bikini in years other than the time I went to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland, but I was like, I had no choice. I want to experience it. I'm like, I'm going to do it. And you know what? If you guys know Erwan Yousaf, you know, the fat kid inside, just the name of his blog alone, it tells so much. It's like on the outside, it looks like this perfect package. And then on the inside, it's kind of like not kind of jiving as much. And that's kind of like how I felt. Maybe I was not obesely big, but I was certainly the biggest I had ever been in my life. And it was a very humbling experience, you know? And that's what I felt like. I felt like this fat kid inside. That even if I had this new body, I was still really awkward. In fact, I thought that was going to be the video for this one where I tried to do some spiels and tried to explain my lipo journey. But as you saw, I even had a bruise in my leg. It was weird, but you know, here you go. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so this is the aftermath. I'm in Bali with my Bella body. <laughs> And uh, I know you guys are thinking, wow, shy dosha, um, awkward dosha, but she's choosing like <laughs> such a provocative slumber. Well, you know what? Uh, before all the depression, before all the anxiety, I loved wearing swimwear. I have a vast collection and I never wear anything simple, uh, easy to say. And so I was just so excited to finally get into my swimwear. And I admit, just talking to the camera makes me feel a little bit awkward. Here's the breakdown. I actually have scars on my body, very small scars. There's one, there's two, turn around. There's three and four. And I also have like, oh, it's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere there. The point is I have scars, but guys, it is like the confidence that Bello had given me is so nothing to compare to such tiny scars that heal. It's only been four months, almost five months, and I feel absolutely amazing. And I know it's only gonna get better from here. And I'm not just talking physically, but even spiritually to a whole new level. It's kind of now that I can see how amazing my body can look, it's almost like a reminder like, hey Bianca, you have something to take care of. And now, do it not just for the physical, but do it for just your whole being. And I never thought that plastic surgery or liposuction could do that for a person. I always thought it was something so aesthetic, which it is. I always thought that it was something so baba, so shallow. But here I am actually conquering my fears, wearing swimwear in the open, in a foreign country, and I'm sharing with you guys, showing all my scars, and guess what? I have cellulite. I have cellulite guys, I have cellulite, oh yeah, like major, I have cellulite, but I don't fucking care, who cares? And then, the thing is, the one thing that I didn't expect to happen from this thing, from liposuction, you know, there is a physical change, for sure. And that was what I was expecting. And that's exactly what I got. But the one thing that did happen, guys, is this newfound confidence. I wasn't expecting newfound confidence in a way that I did. It was really in, in such a way that when my brother passed away, and it's almost like I didn't care to live. I didn't care about life. I didn't really care about my appearance. I just didn't care period and then because you're in this trance of depression and anxiety you don't notice the physicality you just feel the depth of your soul and it's just hurting you know you don't know this the outside because you're so deep inside on the inside and then I guess I I was just more concerned about losing the inches in my body so I could get to work again. But then this transformation from within that I, and I think it showed, it showed little by little in the events that I was doing. So here we are, 
Valentine's and how am I doing? Obviously, as you can see, the posts I've been doing on Instagram, I certainly got my mojo back, sashaying and slit dresses, you know, doing my thing as I always was when I was a model. We've got that covered. I'm okay. In fact, even during the Bella Christmas party, I don't even know what was happening, like how I was able to wear an outfit like that. But you know what? If you ever have heard Beyonce say that she has an alter ego named Sasha Fierce, I believe that many of us have our own alter ego. I don't know what my, the name of mine is, but it's true that whenever I'm working, that anxious, just normal Bianca, she's not there. She is on it, she is on point, she is fearless, and she is just, she wears and does whatever the fuck she wants. But the Bianca that's behind the lights, that's just like this right now, even like this right now, I don't really think my persona is super on. I'm trying to be as genuine as I can and try to be as natural as I can. Perhaps saying it in a bikini in the beach was a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I have to practice my skills and confidence in that one. I think you guys can see that I think I've grown so much from the day that it happened to here we are today. So I think the moral of the story is Self-love, it's a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a conscious choice. For the past six months, I've been concentrating on myself. Um, traveling, just eating better, working out three times a week, visiting Bella to get my weekly treatments, to just make sure that I feel pampered, that I just feel important. And then sometimes you can't be bothered to do it. Well, there are people to do it for you who are experts at it. So I have to say, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I think you guys can see that I'm coming out of that cocoon. The butterfly maybe hasn't yet, but she's getting there. The body though, oh yeah. <laughs> and that's all thanks to Dr. Bella, to the people at the Bella Medical Groups. So you guys have seen me through my ugliest, <laughs> to my cellulite, to just, to me when I'm sad. And you guys have just been patient and encouraging and loving and just amazing. I'm telling you guys, Bella is not just a clinic. They're like a family and you guys have to experience it to know. Words will never express it, but you can see. I know you guys who have been through this journey of mine, you know, the Miko forever in my heart, if you see where I began, you will know that everything that I say is true. So, um, I wish you guys the balls. I wish you guys the guts. I wish you guys just the the courage to just not care what people think. You've had work done, so what? You spend your own money, good for you. It was a gift for you from someone else, good for you. Point is, people are always gonna criticize you, whether you do it or not. So you might as well do what makes you happy. And what makes me happy right now? Sharing my story with all of you. Until next time, I'm Bianca Valerio. On behalf of the Bella Medical Group, thank you so much. I know, I was in the bathrobe and just a few seconds ago and here I am, I'm dressed. Well, I told you guys I have a job and here's the thing. I was talking about how being a model, I always associated being curvy with being fat. And when I had gotten the lipo, I guess I never really thought everything so through. And I just had my waist sucked out. What does that leave you with? What is it called? Hourglass. You are left with an hourglass figure and trust me, never in a million years did I ever think I would have an hourglass figure because for one, I've always been flat chested. But when I gained weight, of course my boobs got big and guess what happened? Those stayed as my waist got smaller and of course my hips were still there. For the first time in my life, I'm like, wow, I actually have boobs. But when you pair it up with 
my original waistline, which is 24, and a perky butt, kind of like it. So trust me, the things that you have planned in your head that you would think that liposuction or or surgery will will give to you, you think you're gonna come out as 10, and then by the time the whole process is done, you come out as like a 20. Wow, did I just call myself a 20? Yeah, I did. <laughs>